Here are the answer to the pH questions, strong, strong enough for a college student, but pH balanced for you. In the first section, again, you're calculating pH, and so once you find the pH, you can tell if it's acidic, basic, or neutral. Remember, there's three ways that I can ask you to do that. If I give you the hydronium concentration, then you can simply take the negative log of that number. Use your calculator instructions if you need to, and then go ahead and figure out the pH of that solution. If it's a simple concentration like 10 to the negative 7, then of course the pH will just be 7. But if it's more complex, complex <laughs> then you'll have to use the log function. If I give you pOH, then you just simply have to subtract from 14, because we know that pH plus pOH always equals 14. And then the last way, if I give you the hydroxide ion concentration, then you have to do both of those steps. When you take the negative log of hydroxide, it will give you pOH, which you then subtract from 14 to find pH. In the second section here, again, I gave you three of the pHs, but then you had to find the other three. Why? Because, well, you have to use that to tell me if it's acidic, basic, or neutral, but then also to calculate the hydronium concentration, because remember that's 10 to the negative pH. So if your pH is simple, like 4, then your concentration is 10 to the negative 4, capital M, molarity. If the pH is not that easy, it is still technically 10 to the negative 8.3, but that's not a good math answer, so we have to use the second log function to get it to turn into this concentration. 2.5 times 10 to the negative 6th for that answer, yes, you can still write it out. Technically, you could have 0. .000025. That's fine, but usually it's a little easier to write it in scientific notation. And again, watch out when I have hydroxide ion concentration. You have to get to the pOH first, then to the pH, which can then get you to the concentration. So again, make sure you pay attention to that. Mind your hydroniums and hydroxides and keep it all in check. The master chemist question. Well, here we have two solutions, A and B. Solution A has a pH of 6, and then solution B has some different qualities, and from those qualities we can figure out what the pH is. So the first thing to remember, every value of pH is a concentration power of 10. Okay, that's something I showed you in class, but each pH change, you know, each number on the pH scale represents a power of 10 concentration-wise. If we're looking at hydroxide ion concentration, then the pH is going up, because that represents base. If we see hydronium concentration, the pH is going down, because that's acid. So in this problem here, we see the hydroxide ion concentration. And so since we see hydroxide, we know that the pH is going down. How much? Depends on how many powers of 10. Since it's a thousand times greater, that's three powers of tens, ten cubed. How do I know for sure? Three zeros. If I said a million times greater, it would be six powers of ten, and so the pH would be changing by six. If I said a hundred times greater, it would be two. So ultimately, we know that there are three pH values changing. So it's we have a 50-50 chance. The pH is either going to be 3 or 9 compared to that 6. So again, since it says hydroxide, we know the pH is going up. So the answer is the pH of 9. Congratulations following that and becoming a master chemist. I hope you did well with all of the pH calculations, and we'll check it out on your quiz.